Hold on to your butts. All right, everyone, how's it going? It's Rick Rackett back with you again for what will probably be the last video I do this year. Uh, Christmas is coming up, New Year's, and uh, I've got a very busy time coming up at work and after Christmas, to be honest. I thought we'd close the year out strong, and I decided that because it was the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, that I would do something Jurassic Park related. And one of the more famous or infamous games, depending on how you look at it, uh, in the Jurassic Park franchise is a game called Trespasser. Trespasser or Jurassic Park. Uh, this came out alongside, or I don't know alongside, but it came out around the time of the second movie. So it's, it's more associated with that movie than the first. But all the games based on the first Jurassic Park film are pretty, or like, they're old games, like you just emulate them. This is an actual, like, PC game, and it's only available on PC. So we're in kind of a similar territory to what we were with uh, Super Mario 64 with the PC port. I, for the safety of the channel, and for what I guess are legal reasons, uh, will not provide download links to this file. What I will say is that there is an archive on the internet, wink wink, nudge nudge, that has this file. And I'm not saying to go there and download it, but if you do, then you will have a folder that will start off looking like this because it'll be a zip folder. It'll say JPT 202 10706.zip. Now, if you were to go to this archive on the internet and download this folder, it's going to have a few different options, possibly. Uh, it's And the one you're looking for is it'll say seven files. It'll say seven files and then seven files original. Just click the one that says seven files. I think it, they're both the same anyway. Click that because that's the one that's going to get you all of the files that you need. There are other options on the site that there's one for downloading the Windows executable. There's one for a torrent. Forget those. The Windows executable by itself won't work. You need the entire folder, which again is this one right here. Now, once you've unzipped it, all right, come on. I, I click the X button. Uh, once you've unzipped it, it's going to look like this. Uh, go into this JPT folder and you'll see one that says install JPT.exe. If you got that one, as well as all these other files, of course, uh, you're good to go. But it's the install JPT, uh, jpt.exe that you need. So once you've got all of that established, we're going to go into Steam. So uh, once you've opened Steam up, you're going to go to add a game. Uh, add a non-Steam game. And then you're going to go to Browse. And then you're going to... In my case, in your case, it'll just be in downloads. I've moved it to the desktop menu, which is here, not home. Uh, JPT, install the exe, and then click add selected programs. Oh, well, and then go to library. <laughs> uh, okay, well, it'll be here on the site somewhere, but uh, this is what you're looking for. It'll be, it'll be listed as install-jpt.exe. Uh, I don't have such a hard time saying that. Uh, click the gear icon, click properties, compatibility, click that box, click Proton Experimental, then click play. Now we're coming up on sort of a, an important point in the process and where I screwed up multiple times. So you're going to get this old fashioned Windows installer menu, click next, click next, and you might have to hold down the Steam button while you're, while you're moving your thumb over the trackpad. Jeez, I cannot speak tonight. And then uh, once you get to this part here, click these three dots. Uh, don't go with the default uh, download path or install path. Instead, go to uh, my computer. Yeah, my computer. Then click E. And then click Steam Apps and then click OK. That's where, I, that's you, you can install it anywhere you want, but you want to make sure it's a place where you can get to it easily. Some of you may be more proficient with the Steam Deck's uh, 
folder system than I am, like the paths and everything. I have an incredibly difficult time with it because I'm so used to Windows with this sort of thing. And with Windows, it's just laid out so much better. But anyway, once you've done that, you're going to click Next. And then it will install the game to that file or folder. But I'm not going to do that because I've already installed it. Now, you have a couple options here. Uh, what I would suggest is go to Add a Game. And then go to Add a non-Steam Game. Go to Browse. Then you're going to find that Steam Apps folder. Which by default is in the primary folder. It's, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> uh, then go to Steam Apps, and then here are all the fold. Here, uh, here are all the files. Uh, the one you want is tpassp6.exe. Uh, it's not this one. This one won't work. It's this one, tpassp6.exe. You're going to select that, and then click Open. And then you're going to go through the same process again. Once you have the game installed, it'll come up as tpassp.6 on your uh, Steam library. Find it. And once you find it, you want to rename it to something else. I would recommend just calling it Trespasser. The reason I would do that is because you can uh, find at least one community controller layout for this game. I don't think it's a particularly good layout and I plan to go in and make my own and if I do uh, I will upload it to the community tab so that you guys can download it yourselves but uh, yeah rename it trespasser and one thing I keep forgetting to mention with installing non steam games is that you can go in and add your own artwork I think most people know this but if you don't uh, you click the left trigger if you're using the steam deck itself or you right click if you're using a mouse and you can set a custom background, custom logo, and have it look the way you want to. So you can get the classic original artwork and uh, you're good to go. Anyway, we've got all that done. Now we're gonna jump over to the gaming menu thing on the Steam Deck gaming mode and play the game for a few seconds. All right, so now we're over in gaming mode. Uh, first thing you wanna do is again, go to this uh, controller icon and go to templates go to community layout and this is the one i'm talking about this is the only person who has uploaded a layout for uh, trespasser you could have a link in the description to uh, the original like keyboard layout for the game that way if you want to go in and make your own configuration you know what key does what and then you just set the key to the button that you want it to be but anyway let's start the game up and this is uh this is fantastic uh that didn't do that before i would just click uh i would just click but uh this game is it, one of the things i really like about this game right off the bat is you get rich i think i hope i'm pronouncing his last name right richard attenborough who uh played john hammond in jurassic park as well as the lost world jurassic park just has a fantastic voice and he narrates throughout this whole game. But anyway, uh, once you're in the menu, with the default control thing, that or that community layout, I should say, you can use the right analog stick to control the clicker, and then you can use one of the back pads. And this guy really liked using the back buttons on the, uh, the Steam Deck, so this one at the very top on the right side is uh, the clicker. So you can click on, uh, I'll just use the trackpad since it's sensitivity is kind of uh, a little bit too much for the analog sticks. And yeah, once you, the game will boot in the Steam Deck's default resolution. So no need to worry about, no need to worry about that so much. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, what I, what I was trying to say there was you won't have to you won't have to go in and mess with the resolution or anything the default that it defaults to the steam decks uh, screen resolution but there it is jurassic park trespasser or trespasser jurassic park i hope that you all found this useful if you did please consider hitting the like button please consider subscribing uh like i said i'll be on a little bit of a hiatus after this video uh, as my cat walks in the background uh, but i will be back there will be more 
Steam Deck tutorials. There will be more playthroughs. I still plan to do the, the other Jurassic Park games, the one on the Sega Genesis and the one on the Super Nintendo. I still plan to do them because they're fun games and uh, I enjoy playing old games on this channel. And uh, I plan to do a lot more of that in the coming year. And I have more tutorials right up here that I'm going to work on and uh, pass those things along to you guys. If you have any suggestions, uh, please let me know in the comments. I, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Also leave a comment if you found this helpful. The, the comments really help the videos as well. Uh, they help with like the YouTube algorithm nonsense. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is.